you know, the jobless rate has fallen, right? Just despite everything uh, everybody is talking about. Uh, the markets aren't reacting in a positive way because the markets aren't reacting on data anymore, okay? Right now, everybody's focused on what is happening in the political world as they should because it's far more important. So the Federal Reserve yesterday was speaking to the House of Representatives giving testimony. Then on the uh, day before yesterday, he was talking to the Senate. So apparently the markets are happy because they believe that he has put to rest the fears of any kind of inflation. Well, why he's putting to rest fears about inflation, I happen to believe. Now, look, let me, let me just say this. I have not been critical. I have not been critical of Jerome Powell, not even a little bit. I th as a matter of fact, I've been saying I think he's going to go down in history as one of the best Fed chairs we have ever had. So, you know, uh, Paul Volcker, uh, he's going to be in there in very, very good company, I believe. But look, I think he is wrong to go to Congress, to the Senate and the House floor, and talk about inflation as if it's, it, it is non-existent. I would agree to that. But all you've got to do is look a little bit closer to the numbers, which the Fed chairman apparently doesn't want to do. Or, better yet, and more likely is, he doesn't want to talk about it. He doesn't want to really reveal that. He doesn't want to bring or lend any concern to, to that, which I think is a little irresponsible because I think he ought to do it. But here's the worst part. He's only hurting himself. He's going to make himself look a whole lot worse when when we go into panic mode and all of a sudden he's raising rates and all kinds of other things going on because he didn't want to give a warning now because he doesn't want to disturb the markets. So I've also been very critical of the Federal Reserve for pretending as though they're not paying attention to the markets. So I have praised Jerome Powell because he has been, um, you know, okay and saying, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch the markets. You know, you have to see what the markets are doing. Well, if he's watching the markets, he's got to be looking at commodity prices. He's got to be looking at oil prices. He's got to be looking at a number of those kinds of things. Well, I don't know. Is he? Maybe he's not. So it is kind of odd to me that he now wants to downplay the markets. He's not talking about inflation that we are seeing. Everybody, I saw, I saw an article this morning in the Wall Street Journal showing charts of the lack of inflation. Well, that's, you know, that's nice, of course. But look, commodity prices are going up, soybeans up 42%. All the metals, industrial metals, up dramatically. Copper's up close to 50%. Okay, other commodities up dramatically and continue to be up dramatically. So, I don't know, go figure. I don't know how it's possible that we can continue not to talk about inflation. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.